Hey, so I'm here in the Vatsal Stone Station with uh, Frank here, and uh, he's a student, and he's uh, helping volunteer to help the uh, Ukrainian refugees. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh yes, definitely. So I am a student uh, in um, diplomacy. I am currently uh, looking for a job, but uh, but I am in the meantime helping people in, in Ukraine. As you might know, in the UK there is a huge need. Um, for helping them right now because of the war and uh, there is a huge need for everything everything that can be done from financial to medical to um, lethal and non-lethal support there is a lot of things to be done and um, so definitely we appreciate that we have here a team uh, a team from uh, from the UK coming in from London this is really huge and we appreciate it a lot um, Poland is doing a lot to help uh, to help Ukrainian people right now uh, we need to do much much more together uh, within the region with our partners and with the UK definitely so that's great to hear so uh, how many how many refugees are coming into the um, for example to give you to give you a, a number we add up to 10,500 a day uh, people coming into Wrocław station uh, some are going to uh, to Germany to France to the UK of course and some people are, are staying there and so we're trying our best we've got a unique system right now um, with uh, Polish people uh, in coming and accepting <laughs> those refugees in their house uh, to, to help them so there is a huge network a solidarity network um, we are helping them to uh, with food with accommodation with um, the jobs etc we're really trying our best to, to make things free and secure for them and, and this is really important some of them right now are coming back uh, because of holidays because um, they want to see their family back and so uh, yeah and this is really difficult time and the humanitarian um, corridor is uh, is opening again again uh, next week uh, at the at the beginning of next week so we are expecting a second wave of big amount of migrants uh, migrants uh, coming in uh, refugees coming from uh, from this war conflict what, what do you think has been the most difficult thing with this? Well, um, I would say the most difficult thing for Ukrainian people is uh, to manage emotions uh, because they come from war conflicts, uh, because they come from a, a crisis situation and they really try their best to, um, to do everything. Um, they don't want to be a burden and we're trying to help them as much as possible and we want them to feel free and secure in Poland. We want to support them and we want to make sure their conditions their living condition in Poland are good and we're kind of building up um, uh, our relations with Ukraine right now so this is a really huge moment for us uh, for Ukraine and we're showing the solidarity right now and this is really important really great to hear. Yeah. So if, um, if people back in the UK want to help out what's the best way for them to do that you can donate to Ukrainian um, uh, companies or to Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian people organization non-profit organizations helping here we've got a lot of volunteers you might have seen there are some there are a few kinds of, of uh, jackets there are uh, yellow jackets and there are blue jackets and blue jackets are for um, uh, people who translate, translators, and um, there are a lot of people there um, from Ukraine who are helping, and this is really great. So this is kind of um, activation, partnership, and really, really powerful. So they feel they feel responsible, they feel uh, integrated, they feel better, and this is really, really important. Thank you so much for the work you do. Thanks really a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a great day too. Thank Bye. You.